All right, everybody, listen up. We are on the phone with Taylor Starling, uh, fighting out of Fit and HB. She's got a fight coming up, uh, King of the Cage, this Saturday in Socorro City, Texas. How are you doing today, Taylor? I'm good. Thank you for asking. How are you? I'm doing all right, doing all right. So you got this fight coming up. Um, when did you get the phone call for it? Um, I actually found out pretty short notice. I found out probably about two or three weeks ago. Um, Arlene, kind of, my coach Arlene, she kind of just asked, she sprung it on me. She threw me in the competitor's class, and then the next morning asked me if I wanted to take the fight, and I was all for it. All right, awesome. So this is something that you're really looking forward to, right? Oh, I'm I'm pumped. I'm beyond excited. All right, and so you do have a, uh, a traditional martial arts background. Where did that start? Um, it started when I was 14. I just happened to be at a friend's house kind of messing around wrestling, and um his cousin was there, and he was a boxing coach and kind of introduced me into the sport and asked if I wanted to try it out. I went into the gym one day, tried it out, and I was hooked. And ever since then, I've been in the gym. Okay, and you just uh, you just uh, started with Fit and HB a couple months back, right? Yes, sir, I did. I just started out with Fit and HB in October. October. Right, and um, what, what made you decide to go from traditional martial arts background to an MMA uh, start? Um, I always kind of like toyed around with jujitsu and then boxing, and I always really wanted to throw it together. I just never, never did. And uh, I went into fit, and I kind of got to start throwing it all together. And it's just, it's always what I wanted to do. I just never got that transition. And fit really transitioned me into the to the ground game, into the MMA, and putting it all together. Awesome. That sounds great. So, um, how are you feeling? Are you nervous? Are you excited? I mean, what uh, what are you feeling inside right now coming up for your amateur debut? I'm really excited. Um, I mean, I feel I'm like now I'm starting to feel a little bit of the nerve kicking in now that I'm here in El Paso and weigh-ins are tomorrow, fight's only like a day away. Um, I'm more excited, though, because I've been really putting in a lot of work, as much work as I could possibly put in uh, taking the fight such short notice and all the help I've been getting. I'm just really excited to show what I've got and get in there and do work. All right, and um, so you, you're going to definitely get some new fans coming up. Um, what should the fans expect with your fighting style? What are you really going to be focusing on? Your stand-up, ground game, what are you looking at uh, uh, highlighting with this fight coming up? Honestly, it's hard to say. Um, I really, I really would say boxing. Boxing is where my heart always was. I mean, I love the MMA and stuff, but I've always started. I started off boxing, so I think mostly what the fans can expect is a lot of. I'm a really good with my striking, um, but I am also really, really good with wrestling. Like they, they, <laughs> they say I'm like a spider monkey. I'm like all over the place. Um, the thing that they can expect is I'm 110% when I'm in there boxing, when I'm in there jujitsu, when I'm in there kickboxing. I'm 110% at everything. I go in there and give it everything I have. So they're going to see uh, a whirlwind of a fighter. Awesome. So if uh, speaking of, so would you rather go as Taylor the Spider Monkey uh, Starling or would you rather go as Taylor <laughs> the Cupcake Starling? <laughs> I've always been called Taylor Two Guns, but you know I'm willing to I'm willing to go with something new, probably the cupcake. The cupcake, awesome, <laughs> I'm, awesome. Yeah, I'm the baker. I'm the part-time baker and the and the fighter. So, uh, so um, what? Who who are your role models when you when you look back, uh, and going forward into MMA? Who are your role models when you started boxing, and who are your role models now with MMA? Um, when I first started, I really wasn't into watching the sport a whole lot, to be honest with you. But now it's like I can't, I can't take my eyes off of. I, I watch everything. I really love Anderson Silva just because he is always, he's always been the champ in my eyes. And um, Misha Tate, I love Misha Tate, and of course Ronda Rousey. Like you know, she's she's one of the baddest. I mean, she's not my favorite, but her attitude and the way she fights, like. She just really sets a good example for all um, women MMA fighters. Um, and, of course, Amber Brown, like, getting into Fit and HB and getting to train with her and having her work with me is, like, a really – it's, like, she's – I look up to her. Like, she's awesome. And she's shown me a lot of things. And I just really, like, look for – I look up to most of the women MMA fighters because it takes a lot to get in there and do what we do, especially being – Totally, I totally understand what you're saying there. So, um, what are your fight game related goals? What What is your ultimate goal, um, and and what's going to make you happy and feel like you've accomplished what you wanted to accomplish? 
Um, I, most of all, overall in this sport, I want to go as far as possible. Money and fame, that's not too big of a deal to me. I mean, it's cool and all, but I mostly just want to take as many fights as I can and fight. I want to compete with the best, and I want to be the best. And I want to be a champion, and I want people to look up to me the way that I look up to them. And it's a huge, it's a big it's a big deal to be a woman MMA fighter and have people look up to you because it takes a lot to be an MMA fighter in general and to be female also. So that's my goal is to mostly um, reach out to other females and get them. I want them to look up to me the way that I look up to other female fighters. That sounds awesome. So, Taylor, that's all our time that we got for tonight. I appreciate you uh, taking our phone call. Um, again, folks, uh, don't forget to stop by Socorro City, El Paso this Saturday. For King of the Cage, where Taylor Starling is going to be making her uh, MMA amateur debut. So thank you so much, Tyler, for uh, taking the phone call. No problem. Thank you. All right. We'll be seeing you ringside, and I wish you the best of luck. Thank you so much. I'll see you there. All right.